Uh, Margot, was this entirely surprising that the Constitutional Court chose to do this? It is a little surprising that it sided with the call to examine whether he's breached the Constitution um, by exceeding his eight-year term. Um, the Constitution was written by himself and his allies to support the military. Um, he sees power in a coup and he's still there as an appointed Prime Minister. Um, so the court's given itself some time to examine whether or not he's breached the Constitution, but it doesn't really change things at all uh, because his deputy, Prawit Wongsawun, who's also a former army chief and was also involved in the coup, is now the acting Prime Minister. Does that mean that investors can be confident that not much will change in terms of the economic policies there? In the immediate future, there will be little change at all. There's an election due sometime next year, um, and that's the more likely point where you may see some change. Although, given the way that the Constitution stacks things in favour of the military and the elites, it's not even likely that an election would make much change. The Senate is controlled by the military. It's locked up. So there in you know you cannot pass uh, legislation if you don't control the Senate.